the United States, in the West. Okay, okay. Let's see what we got here. United States. Reason number one, the United States is done, definitely. Stormblade 69 Wax. I'm starting multi year plans to start visiting the Philippines and getting my ducks in a row <laughs> for eventually moving there. Filipino I'm talking to is going to get their Cinemar tomorrow. Nice. That's what's up. Yeah, a lot of people, once they come here, they're just done with the West. They don't even do the traveling back and forth. They visit once or twice and then just permanently re relocate here, but different people have different obligations, different things they need to get done. A lot of people have responsibilities, jobs, children, ex-wives, mortgages, I get it. But yeah, Cinemar is always a good idea. <laughs> Never too soon for that. It needs to be within the last six months. Otherwise, it's not valid. Um, definitely somewhere you gotta come and get boots on the ground for sure. 10 people watching, eight likes. Yeah, I think that uh, there's never been a better time. I just did a consultation with a guy I like five in the morning, and then I took got three hours of sleep real quick before I did this live. And he's 28. A lot of these guys have uh, checks they get from the military. A lot of people are digital nomads. A lot of people are just sick of the West and have a little chunk of money or they want to do YouTube or something. But in 2023, with as bad as it's gotten in the West, with the politics, the sniffles, the masculine women, the scarcity of just, you know, back in like 2018, even when I used to go on dating sites, if I was in between a relationship or something, all the girls were still swiping right. By 2022, when I left the West, it was like a graveyard on those dating sites. Absolute nothingness. A couple of girls that you're way out of their league thinking that you're their level. With the exception of that, it's crickets. For any guy. Say hello, don't be shy. Scott Phillips and Storm X, Stormblade X69 Wag, okay. 10 people, nine likes. Hey, what's up, Ed Wow? Oh, all good. Yeah, bro, that's what's up. What area are you going to? Where's your Filipina? Mm. Hey, Ed Wow, how are you, bro? 10 people, nine likes. Negros, yeah, a lot of great girls are from Negros. Mary Rose is from Negros. If you look back at my old videos, I guess it's probably, maybe it's under members only, but I think some of her stuff's public. Um, yeah, that's what a lot of guys do is they go to Dumaguete and they find a girl in Negros, but it just depends, you know what I mean? A lot of guys find girls in Leyte, a lot of guys find city girls that came from the province. But yeah, Negros is definitely, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you get it, gotta get out here and get boots on the ground. You can only talk so much online before you start feeling obligated to give money and all these burdens and stuff. And the truth is when you start giving money before meeting someone and you start to give a lot of it, women lose respect for you as much as you would think it would go the other way. Unfortunately, they lose respect for you because it's like, what are you doing? Like, why are you giving money to a stranger? And a lot of these girls have local boyfriends or young foreigner boyfriends, so it's better to get boots on the ground, definitely. Lack of sleep, but still okay. Yeah, me too. I uh, slept for three hours. I did a consultation at like, I don't know what time it was, 6 a.m. And then I was like, there's no way I can go live at nine. I gotta sleep for three hours, get some caffeine in my system and go live at 11, but it seems to be fine. But yeah, you definitely got to get out here, fly into Dumaguete or whatever. And I don't know if it's your first time coming out here. Ask her if she's bringing anyone when she comes to meet you, if you haven't met her yet. A lot of girls will bring 14 people to the airport. And as a foreigner, you won't think about that aspect of it. 
fine if she wants to bring one person for safety or something, but yeah, me, I like to do a meeting one-on-one. -on -one. And I would like to get her to come to me so I don't have to go meet 15 people in the province. But everyone does things their own way. Working on it. Yeah, but I just don't think there's any better time. I'm, I'm doing consultations with younger and younger and younger guys. Going to get my passport application processing. She's getting her seat in March tomorrow there. Will be my first time there probably next spring. Yeah, got to get your passport. A lot of guys don't even have a passport yet. They're talking to a Filipina. Got to get that going because they're backed up right now in the U.S. You can do the rush renewal, but still could be a couple months. And then, yeah, get up, get everything in, uh, set up so you can take time off work if you're not retired already. And then you just get to a point where, um, you know, you got to come out and see if it's real. If you're talking to a girl for six months or something, what are you going to talk to her for six years? The only reason to not come out is if you're broke. And if you're broke, you shouldn't be talking to girls in the Philippines. You should talk to girls in fucking whatever state you're in or whatever. So... Yeah, it makes sense, man. I've got the red gubby. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I mean, it just makes sense. You know what I mean? It's, it's not getting any better. It's not going to get better. It's just going to get worse. Prices are just going up. A lot of people are just coming straight out. I'm doing a discovery trip, then moving here. So it should be, yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, it should be quick. And then... It's just making a lot of sense, you know what I mean? If you got the money, the guy I was talking to gets $4,100 a month. In America, you're super regular with $4,000 a month. In the Philippines, you're getting $4,100 a month? Oh, you're a fucking boss. Probably my biggest month ever here, I spent four grand. And I got a place at the beach and a place in the most expensive pocket of Manila, you know, with a huge balcony and whatever, whatever. So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a life changer if you can handle the humidity and the customer service and all that shit. I mean, it all depends, you know, if you got $20 million, shit, stay in the United States if you like it. But if you're getting 50 grand a year, making three grand a month, five grand a month, Philippines is uh, definitely the move. What What's up with all the lurkers? Say hello, don't be shy. So it should be quicker to get regular. Yeah, nice, 15 people. We got Ed Wow and Stormblade speaking. Scott Phillips, number one reason. Yeah, the United States is done. The United States is done. If you can move yourself to Philippines, Thailand, South America, and you got the money to sustain it, you got a digital gig, you got a bunch of money at once, you got a pension, whatever it is, why would you subject yourself to those masculine women and those fucking $7,000 rentals and those $9 lattes and shit for what? It's doable. 16 people. Don't be shy. Should have a good GS11 retirement in 8.5 years, almost 1800 a month just on my VA disability. Yeah, someone was asking me 1700 a month yesterday. I was saying, you could totally do 1700 a month. Do I spend a little bit more than that? Sure, but if I had to spend 1700 a month, shit, I could live in this condo and do it. Just, you know, you're not going to be island hopping every five seconds or, you know, it depends on do you drink alcohol? Are you getting a girl and paying for everything for her? You know, try to find a Filipina that has has a good job. Try to, you know, take your time. You don't have to, you, you can live here on 1800 a month. I mean, it's not gonna be super glamorous, you know, millionaire's lifestyle, but you can do it. You can have a nice condo. Your main expense is gonna be rent. Then after that, it's gonna be food, essentially. So that makes sense. I'm very tempted to come much sooner. Yeah, I would too. As soon as I have my passport in my hand, if I, get, if I had the money, I'd be tempted to come, especially if I'm talking to a Filipina and get super close and, you know, I know how that goes. I talked to Filipinas before I came here 13, 14 months ago or whatever. Everybody's trying to fetch me at the airport. Everybody loves me. Got to come out and see what it really is and what it isn't. And if it doesn't work out with the Filipina that you're talk talking to, there are other Filipinas that are willing. How are you and your girl, Jasper? We're going great. Everything's great. No problems, no complaints there. Surprising. You know, normally I, you know, one month is my limit, but uh, no, this girl's different. I mean, this girl's really in it for the long haul. She's got her own money. She's super beautiful and uh, lives around here. She's a city girl, she's not a province girl, but uh, one day at a time, we'll see what happens. You know what I mean? 15 lurkers, don't be scared. You can say hi, it's okay. You can also hit the like button, that's free. Uh, 11 likes. Yeah, that's what everyone says. We'll see, man. 
We'll see. I'm tough to get along with. We've had some disagreements, but for the most part, we're cool. But yeah, I mean, be careful trying to travel on an official without order. Wags, be careful trying to travel on an official without order. Oh, he's using his, his official military passport. Hmm, never thought about that. I'm not a military guy. I mean, moving permanently sooner than later, away to my retirement. First, then my ex will get squat, probably go to the province watching a lot of It's Me. Yeah, I like It's Me. He's the man. That's my favorite YouTuber. Um, I've, I've communicated with him. Uh, yeah, It's Me is the man. Perfect example that I did. He got a beautiful Filipina, built a $50,000 house in Negros, 50,000 peso house, and uh, no, $3 million house, sorry. Um, yeah, that guy's a man. Disagreements happen at all, but you know how to handle it. They have a VA there, Blade in Manila. Nice. Um, yeah, so I would do it sooner. Absolutely. And yeah, it's me. It's definitely the blueprint on what you want to do if you want to get, you know, if you're in a relationship or whatever, you got a couple dollars, you did it right. They have a car, they go into Dumaguete, he buys a couple weeks worth of food or whatever, puts it in his freezer. That dude's the man. That's the only channel that I watch. Ba -ba -ba, I mean, you talking to me? Where am I located? Um, I'm like half asleep here. Jeremy Thomas, it should. Be. I'm in uh, BGC, but I think maybe you're talking to uh, Stormblade or something. Uh, ba -ba -ba, Corey and Rachel are adorable. Yeah, yeah. That dude definitely has got it going on. He brought it to the United States. He was able to do that because it's a small age gap and he's, you know, a younger dude that's in shape and shit, but I never suggest bringing him to the United States personally or moving him to the United States. If you have the resources to get here, then why not? That's what I figured, Jeremy. My bad. I'm like half asleep, bro. I'm like, I don't think you're talking to me. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you don't have the resources to do it, don't do it. If you do, do it. Raquel. Yeah, I was going to say, I think it's Raquel. Yeah. Beautiful Filipina, uh, younger expat, I think he's like 40. Uh, they went to Chicago, or I forget where they lived in the United States, but yeah, guys, I mean, that's a good channel to watch if you're a relationship guy. I just recently got into a relationship, but I was the single guy channel forever, showing you BGC and stuff. This dude lives in Negros. He's got big videos, like 1.6 million views. He got featured on Tribe of Men as well. Oh, West of Seattle, got you, got you. Yeah, I mean, it's just now or never. I mean, you don't have to do it when you're not prepared to do it, but the truth is, I put this shit off for so long, and doing consultations with guys in their 20s, I'm like, damn, man, I wish. I wish I would have done it. It's probably a 24-hour service to expedite a blue passport in Seattle. Got you, Jeremy. Uh, I'm 48, Filipino, 23 next Tuesday. Nice, nice. Yeah, you're a year older than me, 23, nothing wrong with that. Hey, what's up? Got that sportswear. What's cracking? Yes, sir. Just doing a late one today. Honestly, think it's it's time to uh, people to take action. You know, you can only talk about it for so long. You can only watch YouTube channels for so long. I talk myself out of it so many times. Oh, I'm gonna do a different. Uh, I'm gonna meet, date a different girl. I'll move to a different city. Uh, the United States ain't that bad. Oh, my dad's here. Bro, if you are not leaving young children behind or you have the funds to do it, go ahead and make it happen. You can always go home. I'm trying to be like you. Yeah, man, I mean, you can always go home, guys. Don't just watch or listen to bloggers who's different in real life. That's what I'm saying. People are like, oh, I'm living vicariously through you. I did a poll going, are you gonna come, when you come to the Philippines, 2023, 2024? Never, I just like watching your channel. Like 30%, you know, I'm never coming. I'm just living vicariously through you. That's cool. I get it. A lot of guys don't want to go 8,000 miles, 16,000 miles round trip. A lot of guys just like the idea of it, but they know damn well they ain't going to do go to some foreign land where they don't have any friends or, you know, they think they might get scammed or whatever. Hey, what's up, uh, Storm? Thank you for uh, purchasing a membership. You're the man. There's a lot of content underneath the membership, bro. Um, a lot of videos, a lot of showing me on the beach in Boracay, showing girls I dated, showing um, shit, exclusive videos, crazy. 
Also, Wags, if you're still working with the agency, issued your official travel office, might be able to process the Blue app as well. Got you. Solo journeyer, could bloggers only go or tell the good stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, exactly. You don't really... I'll tell some bad stuff about like humidity and customer service and stuff, but uh, you got to come and see it boots on the ground. You got to feel the humidity. You got to feel the customer service. You got to feel the warmth of the Filipino people. You got to see if you get along with Filipinas, you know, Filipinas are very family oriented. You could come second to a girl's family. Um, it, it, it's, it's a different culture. It's a, it's a conservative Catholic culture for the most part. It's, you know, not an Amazon at your door hour later culture. It's um, more of a laid back culture. People walk slow. They don't, you know, it's just a different thing. Shipyard doesn't process blue. Oh, Ed, wow, why do you, why do they sugarcoat it? Um, it's not a good idea to, to bash a place you live. Also, if you hate a place that you live, you should probably move for all the people that are making videos that are saying this and that. Then you should leave. There's a guy that's claiming he's here, he's here and every video is a negative video. Why are you here if it's so terrible? Is this the only place you can afford to live or what is it? It's interesting. I mean, you gotta come and see a few for yourself. Yeah, exactly. I mean, everybody that's came has liked it that I've seen. Everyone has, uh, you know, they're planning to move here, planning their next vacation here. Orca was the only one that just immediately left because of a health issue, I guess, but yeah, I don't know. There's no Walmart, definitely no Walmart, my brother. Unfortunately, there's no, your favorite store is not here. Not yet, maybe someday, right? Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, I'm not saying it's bad. If it was bad, I'd go home. I got enough money to live in the United States. I could go to Thailand, I could go to South America. What I'm saying is humidity's tough at first. Customer service can be a challenge. Other little shit, you know, I mean, it's not, it's not all just Beverly Hills for 500 bucks a month, you know? <laughs> Where did Stormblade come from? I have no clue, but he just became a member, so salute to Stormblade. Maybe not a Walmart, but there's a, yeah, exactly. There's a fucking SNR, that's like a Costco. I lived in Hawaii for three years on shore duty, loved it, made local friends, known many Filipinos in the Navy, working on base, I'm 98%. I love it and fit right in. Yeah, I knew a lot of Filipinos living in Vegas. Um, you know, I've dated a couple Filipina girls, like lightweight, when I say dated, you know, I use the term loosely, but, uh, I was familiar, you know, I went to all the fights in, the, in Las Vegas, my buddy owns a TV news service, um, so I'd been around Manny and Freddie Roach and stuff, so, I mean, you know, I was familiar that Filipinos are generally kind people, um, and the Filipinas are beautiful, although the Filipinas in Las Vegas are not like the ones here. Ba, ba, ba. Name, gaming, Dragonlance, books. Look at Calvin. He told me he can't stand the fills at the same time he's also enjoying it. Right? Exactly. If you really can't stand the fills, there's no reason to be in the fills. If, if you're enjoying the, the women, the beaches, the prices, hey, take the good with the bad. If you're not, shit. You got the money to go back to Cali or wherever, you know, do it. Depends. This is the first time I have saw you in the chat, Storm. You have to take the good with the bad. I would have thought Stormblade came from Skyrim, but my nerd is showing. Stormblade, yeah, he's a fan of It's Me, my favorite YouTuber. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but salute for buying the membership. I did like four and a half hours of lives yesterday. I did one on the balcony at night. Ha, uh, spoken, written, and same, good, bad. Interesting how many lurkers we have. There's like four people speaking and like 30 people in the chat. 31 people in the chat. Crazy. Lurker gang. But yeah, appreciate everybody for being here. Or I guess there's like eight people. Philip Huffman, Solo Journeyer. Spoken, written, the same, good, the bad. Yeah. But yeah, I just think that when I see guys in their 20s doing it, I think, man, what are we waiting on, right? It ain't getting better. Prices are getting higher. Women are getting more masculine. I missed out yesterday so live, so I was busy. Gotcha. I thought the lurkers had went elsewhere. Uh oh, I don't know. I mean, I appreciate the numbers. Looks good to have 30 people, 40 people, whatever. Uh, X69 Halo 3 didn't show gamer tag. You had to pick a three digit alphanumeric, so I picked that. When I got first Gmail, I had to come up with a unique Gmail on the spot, slap two together. They are back. No, I don't know. It could just be shy people. It could be all the ladies lurking. I have no clue. 
I scheduled this and then I pushed it back two hours then I did a short and posted on Facebook if I'm not mistaken but no it's all good actually my first live here yeah I think a lot of people it's just their first live here probably that title caught people's eye um, you know if you're a fan of one Philippines youtuber you might stumble upon my channel on a recommended at the end of their video or something um, I've spoke with it's me a little bit in the comments section or just, you know Actually, my first live here, yeah, a lot of people found me through Tribe of Men, you know, shit like that. But no, I don't know. I just noticed that uh, maybe there's 10 people speaking, but all good. But yeah, I just think it's never going to get any better, and I think you got to just have the guts to do it. Props to all the guys I did consultations with that just got on the airplane and came and checked it out, even if you don't move here the next day. Um, for the people that pay me $50 for a consultation and then, you know, did never come out, shit, I mean, or just come out three years later, it's up to you. How much is the rent there, bro? $791 for this one. Boracay is $259 a month. Hey, what's up? Yeah, $790 American, you got it. <laughs> Seven nine one, not bad. Forty five thousand pesos, probably eight hundred since the dollar swung down a bit. Um, it's fine for me. I'm getting my final shopping done here in America. New phone, new laptop. Oh yeah, nice Black Friday sales. Yeah, we got eleven eleven in the Philippines. Black Friday rules in America. Maybe I should start a consultation. Uh, found you recently. I think second video was a phone interview with the girl disappearing time. So. I immediately took the advice on the Cinemar and she was like, no problem, showed me the photo ID. I think the second video was the phone interview with the girl. Hmm, which one was that? Immediately everything matched right up. Hey, Jordan, what's up, bro? Yes, sir. Thanks for the free consultation, Ed. Wow, my GF is in Montauban. I already let her know I'm not living there. Yeah, guys, you might not be comfortable in the province, guys. If you can convince your girl to go away from her family and come to a BGC or Cebu or uh, even a Dumaguete or somewhere that has, you know, like, I mean, the, the province life is cheap, but I was telling the guy I did a consultation with, you're gonna have brownouts, the internet could be spotty, you're not going to Starbucks, you're not doing a bunch of five-star dining in the province. But you could be like, it's me, and just buy a bunch of food and put it in your freezer. It's up to you if you have a car or whatever. Um, I'm thinking of dipping to the Philippines for a few years. How do you make money, if you don't mind me asking? Right here, you're looking at it, YouTube. I've never decided to leave the country in now, so for now, it's all new to me. Hi, Jordan. Jordan, my vlogs, yo, no guy, hey Solo, hey Ed, Solo Journeyer, bag yeah, baby. Sunshine talking about ED, he is a wacko. Man, funny. I mean, he's 60 though, so that's the guys that he's talking to. You know, I'm talking to 28 year olds and 48 year olds and stuff. ED's not as much of a thing if you're in shape, to be honest with you, but no, nothing wrong with that. He's an older guy. He doesn't look like it, he's in great shape. I've seen him in, uh, in Cebu, but you gotta understand, this guy's probably 61 years old or something now. So, I mean, that's, you know, he's almost a legitimate senior citizen. So his audience is going to be guys that have ED. <laughs> Talking about the girl who was sketchy, not available, video screen. Was your phone him on speaker telling you? Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done so many interviews, but yeah, exactly. You got it. Hit the like, guys. The like is free. Um, consider becoming a member. Uh, there's tons of videos that are members only. Tons of live streams that are members only. I do members only live sometimes. Link is in the uh, description. Uh, thank you, Stormblade, for joining. Um, yes, I am. I lived in the United States my entire life. I was born in California. I lived in Vegas for 14 years. Uh, lived on the East Coast. Uh, yeah, United States. All the way, brother. Best country. My dad is 61. He don't need it. Well, I'm glad that you know your dad's, uh, your dad's uh, situation with that. <laughs> hey, Sheila, what's up? I'm going to do police videos for shorts, make more money. Okay, Jordan. Do it up, yeah. Your weight loss thing was working pretty good. How's your weight? What do you clock it in at? Even porn stars use the blue, buddies. Yeah, many uh, porn stars use the blue, but that's because they need to go for hours and hours and hours and hours. Nothing wrong with using the blue, but guys our age and younger might not need it as badly as a you know, 61 year old, 60 year old. $299, uh, 299 pounds, you mean. Nice. That's what's up. Hit the like, guys. 33 people in the building. 
Smash the like, it's free, don't worry. It's not a donation. Consider becoming a member. Yeah, so, you're really not getting any younger. The West ain't getting any better. We're going into high season out here while America's going into the winter. Now would be a good time for a discovery trip if you have the money and you're able to get the time off of work. Adam 22, okay, Jordan, uh, how dare you. Uh, where's Filipina Dots? I have no clue. I don't know what her deal is. Hey, later, Ed Wow. Guys, just be careful when you get those blue buddies. Never buy them on the street. Oh, I mean, that is not Viagra. That is something that'll probably give you a heart attack. We'll land in Cebu late January, stay there for a week, then go live in Iloilo. Selling my car and enclosed trailer and all the other stuff as well, so I won't have an excuse to come back. Have you ever been here before, Jeff? That sounds a little crazy. Why are you leaving because of Sheila? VA dude, okay, Ed, Ingatka. Oh man, you should come out and visit first, bro. But that's up to you, man. I wish I would have done that because I'm paying 154 for a storage unit. But in the end, you know, uh, I always suggest coming out for a discovery trip first, but that'll cost you a solid five grand that you'll lose from your budget. But uh, yeah, it's up to you, bro. You won't have an excuse to come back, right? Exactly, that's the thing though. I never suggest that, but hey, I mean, technically it would have worked for me, but yeah, I'm sitting there paying 154 and I will be paying 178. Uh, I managed to pay seven more months before they bumped the price up. Uh, I have a long time friend there, already had done a ton of research and plus I've left a dick. Okay, yeah, I got you. A lot of people don't have a friend here, so they're not, you know, that comfortable doing that. But yeah, I get what you're saying. What age did you leave the States? I noticed I'm serious masculinity from women in the West, 45 years old. Yeah, absolutely. They really do, man. It's like a fucking goddamn um, OnlyFans, you know, hold my purse society. It doesn't matter how masculine you are. I just wasn't comfortable with that anymore. I don't like it here, bound to be better. Okay, yeah, it's up to you. If you don't like it here, you can go to Thailand or South America or whatever. Uh, I was talking to the postman when I was leaving and uh, I was telling him I'm changing my address this night. I said, I'm going to the Philippines. He goes, really? What the fuck? And then he, I go, yeah. And I go, oh, I got my bends and all my stuff in my storage unit. I'll just come back. He said, dude, you ain't never coming back. I know a guy that did it. Everybody I know that left the States never comes back to live. Um, and I was like, you know what? You're right. I am never coming back. You got it. Twenty-five likes, thirty-two people. Where's all our regulars? She rejected you here in the live. Man, I don't know. She rejects you in another language, so it's kind of tricky. She always speaks to you in another language, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. Interesting. But lovely girl was similar. My kids are grown, live elsewhere. Parents are older, eight hours away. I've got nothing keeping me here except a job. If I want retirement and VA disability, I could do it and still get TSP later. Yeah, Jasper, she did in Tagalog. Gotcha. Every girl rejected here, so never coming back, LOL. Ukraine women are expensive. Later, boss. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, my older sister was so impressed with videos I have been sharing with her of the Phil's vloggers such as you and others. She has decided to fly with me to visit for two weeks. Thank you. Nice, yeah, a lot of girls will love BGC, love Boracay, you see uh, Western women or white girls in Boracay all the time. Um, it's not as popular with the ladies, but you'll be safe in a place like Boracay or BGC or, you know, uh, nothing wrong with it, man. Check out the white sand beaches. Places like BGC, you see white couples living here with their kids and stuff, it's super safe. No, get the TSP later on. Boo hoo, what's up, bro? Plenty of fish in the sea, exactly. Don't let a, a girl rejecting you deter you from coming in the live and seeing your friends. Um, you know, I don't know, she never even met you in person. <clears throat> Good morning, boo hoo. Where's Filipina Thoughts? Where's Joan, Amelia? Where's everybody at? Everybody smash the like. All right, I'm gonna stop saying that. 
26 likes. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Definitely, I suggest girls coming out here, although it's not that popular with them, but it's getting more and more popular. People are realizing that they're safe here, that not every area is gonna be a developing situation, but I'm never leaving here. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about Sheila, uh, quote unquote, rejecting you. Uh, you've never even met Sheila in real life, and uh, I don't know, but it's up to you, boss. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, guys, it's up to you. Definitely do a discovery trip if you can afford to. Definitely meet that Filipino you're talking to online. Never. Sheila is just not ready yet. I have no clue. She won't speak to you in English, so I can tell you what she's saying. She likes to speak in Tagalog and secretly reject you. Solo, you're right. Sheila, haha. -ha. Plenty of fish. Yeah, exactly. Plenty of fish in the sea. You'd see how many girls come into this chat more than any other Philippines live chat. There's bound to be one that wants you. Um, I've never seen that many girls come into a community. Doobie, Joan, Ermina, Lizelle, Amelia. Jordan Melby Vlogs, $20 with a $200 uh, thing. Oh my God, I'm blown away. Holy shit. Salute for the 20. Thanks, bro. With a fake 200 as a message. Jess, I've heard you've been to Maradik. I'd consider it if they had a decent hospital. Have you been to Maradik? I've never been there. The best hospital is going to be right down the street, St. Luke's. Uh, major cities can have a good hospital, other places you might be in deep trouble. Um, Jordan Moby Vlog, yes, yeah, salute to Jordan for the 20. Tinder isn't the best place to meet, but example here, five to 10 likes year, five to 10 likes slash year, 12 hours set Cebu, 28 likes, 100%, do Tinder Pro, pay $1.99, I'll get fucking four matches in Las Vegas, I come out here, I got 400 matches. You are 100% correct, you're one year older than me. Bro, you're invisible by the time you're our age, whereas in America, you are not, I mean, in uh, the Philippines, you are far from invisible. You're the hot chick. <laughs> you see what the girls deal with in, in the United States. You can retire now, Jasper. Yeah, exactly. I can retire. I got $200 from Jordan. Oh, wait, it's only 20 but still very generous. My American bud from childhood, Texas, will be moving to Iloilo when his lease ends in Cebu. Right when I will be arriving there, we will be house hunting February. I can rent a room with him or not. Yeah, you don't need to rent a room. I mean, you can... If you got any money at all, you can get your own spot. But yeah, I mean, it might be nice to live with a buddy. It's up to you. Um, for me, I always get my own places. I, I like to be able to, you know, like my girl comes over or whatever, have a nice little setup. But it all depends on what you want to do. It's nice to have a buddy out here. Ed, go take a rest. You said your luck of sleep. There are so many options out there. Exactly, guys. There's tons of girls out here. Um, I wouldn't sweat being rejected by a Filipina. Um, I guess you are a, a native though, you're a Filipino. Sick of American entitled angry. For yeah, exactly. You know, I went back for three weeks to put away my car, break my lease, put all my stuff in storage, see my dad for Thanksgiving. I was like, get me the fuck out of here. Let me get back to spending pesos. I don't need any $9 lattes or girls mean mugging me at the store and shit. My dad just texted me. He's like, are you gonna be coming out for uh, Thanksgiving? And I'm thinking, no, I'm not spending $5,000 and flying 16,000 miles to see you for two hours. Uh, respect to him, I will definitely come visit him soon, but bro, I'm good. I said, I'm, I'm gonna be with my new girlfriend. Captain Wedgie, what's up? Filipina Dots, okay, okay, Santa all. Yes, the beautiful Filipina Dots, guys. She's taken, but uh, that's a Filipina right there, guys. You want an idea of what a Filipina looks like? Ed, wow, you seem to be sticking around for a guy that was leaving. Just fucking with you, bro. Salute to Jordan for the 20. Salute to Blade for becoming a member. Uh, Ed, yes, Ed. So yeah, I did a consultation with a 28-year-old guy, ex-military, this morning. He's probably in here. Bro, I fucking wish I would've came here at 28. I didn't have a bad life in the United States, but in 2023, 28 years old, you're fucking slaughtering it. Somebody mentioned me on Facebook. No, I'm not leaving. Sheila is still here. Oh, okay, now you're staying. Okay, good. I'm not saying anything bad about Sheila, just chatting about life. Yeah, exactly. Nobody needs to be, you know, I think Sheila's probably looking for a foreigner, um, to be honest with you, Ed. Um, pure Filipina and proud. Yes, exactly. She's going to become Miss Universe, guys. Oh, man.
Okay, Solo and Ed. Yes, yes, Solo Journeyer in the building. Danny H, what's up? Jordan Melby Vlogs just gifted five memberships. Holy shit. Hit allow gifts to anybody that doesn't have one. I think Jazz Sheila was observing. I think so, Jazz Sheila was observing. Yeah, JJ, John Weiss, Doug Christensen, Jared Troy, and Juso Sarinen. Salute to Jordan for the 20 and the five memberships. Nice. Stand on business, Danny H. Uh, Shout out to Clark. He said the train, but I can't find any info on Google about it. Did he mean the bus? That's a good question. Maybe he'll pop back in here. I'm not. I don't know much about going to Angeles. I've never been there, but I forget who that was that was talking to you. Buffalo Soldier. Boo who's a member now? Look at that. Yeah, I think that. Uh, yeah, exactly. Very generous. Appreciate you, Jordan. Huge supporter of the stream. A lot of people. Super generous. Appreciate you uh, for buying the membership. Appreciate you for gifting them. President Corey, what's cracking? Yes, sir. Everybody smash the like. It's free. Yeah, Jeff Rob, very generous. Wait for Christmas. Yeah, it looks like it's early. Christmas came early for me today. Thanks, Jordan. Jasper, Paul must be sneak watching. He he just got off the couch. Who's Paul? Uh, old dog? <laughs> Good morning. Yes, yellow star in the building. Yeah, I think Sheila's looking for a foreigner. She'll try to say she's open to anything. Uh, Sheila's looking for a foreigner. Don't take it personal, bro. You can call it what you want. What the hell would you be in my chat for religiously if you didn't like foreigners, realistically? <laughs> Just fucking with you, Sheila. I'm sure you're going to end up with a guapo Filipino until now and then. Sheila, I mean, you have good options to choose from. Yeah, there's a lot of guys, a lot of foreigners, a lot of high-value men in here. Corey met his, his queen in here. Um, Corey's a nice foreigner. Uh, Orca and Ermina, who knows what will happen there. Um, I met Erica through this channel, which was a nice week of my life. Jester's Journey, what's cracking, bro? Member for four months. Um, that's cool, Jasper. Yeah, no, I don't know. I'm, I'm just guessing, but um, I wouldn't even consider her a rejection if a girl's got her mind made up that she's only doing getting with foreigners. But there's a lot of girls that are only interested in their native Filipinos, too. Sheila is looking around to joke. Yeah, right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Could be. 24 likes. We just had 27 likes. Now we're down to 24. <laughs> That's okay. I don't get paid for likes anyway. Salute to Jordan for sponsoring the fucking stream. No, I'm not only foreigner. I'm looking at nationality. It depends on the person he has. Okay. Fair enough. Jester's journey. In the building. Doing a little bit of a later live today. Maybe this makes sense to go live a little later. I had to get some sleep. I was up all night. I slept during the afternoon. And I talked to my girl for a minute. Then I guy uh, paid me for a consultation he'd been talking about for like a week. I did that. Then I was like, there's no way I can go live. I won't have any energy. McNello. Yes, sir. <laughs> Where in Cebu is the high class Filipinos with great jobs? Uh, you mean Filipino? Well, I guess you call it there. Um, IT Park, but the real high class Filipinos are going to be in Manila, in my opinion. But IT Park, there's a lot of call centers there. But a high class Filipina in Cebu might be making 20K or 30K which is like three to $500. So the girls that I've met that are big, big earners are all in VGC and Makati, to be honest with you, Manila, bro. But uh, I don't know, what do I know? I'm just a silly foreigner that's been here 13 months. I have a slight chance I'm hyped now. Yeah, exactly, Ed Wow, she just said it. Keeping the hope alive. McNello, living in the green belts. I don't want a high class Filipino, I want a chunky girl with three kids. Whatever, I've seen your girl before. Cebu and Makati, I think Makati and VGC, I don't think Cebu. I mean, uh, let me not say anything in particular. Hey, what's up, John Canella? What's cracking, John Colioni in the building? Cheers, bro. Yeah, no problem, man. Everybody likes Cebu. IT Park, brother. Go to IT Park. Meet a call center girl. Um, there's high class girls in Cebu. I think there's more in Manila, but if a lot of guys prefer Cebu, and uh, a lot of guys don't care about if they're high class or not. They just want a girl that maybe makes her own money or whatever. Or well-spoken, college-educated, etc. Mac Worldwide, 
Sounds like me, but it wasn't me. LOL, Chunky with three. Uh, he has a hot girlfriend, bro. He's lying. Um, and she's not Chunky, and I don't know that she has three kids. Sheila just doesn't know it yet. I can wait. Hey, she kept hope alive. I, I specifically said she will not date a Filipino. And then she uh, she said hope is still alive. John Canella in the building. Stormblade wags. Every comment above about how I met my Filipina. Even if she dips, I'll be fine. I'm going Discovery Trip, but almost POS moving in two to eight years. Salute for the five bucks, Stormblade Wags. Nice. Um, yeah, see my comment above about how I met my Filipina. Why am I not seeing it? Stormblade, Stormblade, Stormblade. Did it not post? Danny Age. Hmm. I have shared a house in the past. So used to each other's such a setting. He does have a Filipina GF. Once find a GF, I'll get my own place. We're not gonna rush it. All good, Jeff. Why don't I see that um, video? Paul must be sneak watching. Yeah, must be. Um, I'm not seeing it. Ba, 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 Filipina thoughts. Nice storm, good for you. I want to stay single, no rush for me. Yeah, just took me a year, right? I'm bored, what should I do today? Um, it's a good question. Maybe go walk around the green belts and see if you can find a, a nice uh, side piece. <laughs> Before, when we lived in Publishon, both of us lived in Publishon, I'd be like, okay, go to Rich on the fourth floor to the fucking lounge area, this and that. Yeah, do whatever you want, big baller. You could always go to uh, Angela City. Salute to John Canella for the five memberships. Getting the membership back heated up. Salute. Peter Thiel, Philip Thuffman, Alexander Michael. That's Michael Alexander. MB Munchie. Damn, salute to uh, John Canella. That's 10 memberships already. Salute to Stormblade Wags for the $5. I'm not seeing the comment. If you can do a brief uh, recomment or something, I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it was help for review or something. Um, Mount Pula, no, I've never been there. Luzon, you mean? Yeah, I've never been there. Salute to uh, John Canella. Salute to Jordan, salute to Wags. Um, Stormblade, nice, never been there. Did did meet my Filipina on Tinder, she's legit. Been talking to her for a year and a half. I can sniff out scammers right away. Yeah, I hear you, bro. That's what's up. Yeah, Tinder's good. And yeah, just it's obvious when a girl just constantly needs money and loves you the first day. My kids are grown and live elsewhere. Parents are eight hours away. I've got nothing keeping me here except the job. If I want retirement, VA as a disability, I could do it and still get TSP. What's up, Trader X? What's cracking? Um, wow, John is super generous. These guys are loading up now. This is this chat is racing. Maybe that's his comment. Okay, just had to purchase an onboard ticket airline. Yeah, that's all good. Filipino dog. John just gifted another five memberships. Holy shit. Alan Sturba, Lawful Shepherd, Joe McGrath, Panama Jack, and Bruce Davis. Salute to John. That's 10 memberships. And Jordan with five. Wow, guys, the best supporters ever. Sheila, Auntie Parrot, what's up, brother? No, she's new. Several other were scammers. Yeah, absolutely. You don't want a serial foreigner chaser or someone that's been with tons of foreigners or someone that's constantly telling you about life's hardships and wanting you to solve them when you've never physically met them. Yeah, it must be McNello. I don't know. McNello's like my co-host. Everyone knows he's a hot stud. <laughs> or it could be Filipino Thoughts. I don't know. Amelia, what's up? Check, it's way popular. Yeah, it's racing and a lot of memberships raining. Salute to John Canella, John Colioni, making it rain memberships. Lady Zia, sorry, Sheila, I tried to get you a star. Yeah, Sheila, you should hit allow gifts. You've been in here when like 100 memberships have gotten distributed. Have you hit allow gifts, ma'am? What phone are you using to watch this? Joan, I'm concerned about you. Hope you're fine. Take care always. Is Joan here? Did Joan say hi? The chat just started racing. I missed a bunch of shit because it's like going crazy. First onward ticket, they wouldn't let me board without a return ticket. That is correct. Okay, so you're on your way. Yeah, that is correct. I would have told you that. Um... Yeah, try to, uh, Sheila, can you hit allow gifts in case any membership is gifted in the future? I don't see how you're not a member. You're in every single live. Get the retirement for spend money, I guess. Yeah, I was gonna say. Um, damn, losing control of the chat here, it's going so fast. Yeah, John was trying to get you a star. 
you got to hit allow gifts for future. Uh, like, share, done, just tuned in. Salute, Ante. Ante. Yes, sir. Doing two hours live today. I had to do a consultation this morning. Realized I'm not going to have any energy to do a live. I got to sleep three hours and to get a Starbucks. And that's exactly what I did. Ba ba ba. Lido Kino. Hey. 15 memberships gifted. Uh, Stormblade bought one and donated. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, 8.5 more years and exit the chunk. I want to get there sooner. Yeah, eight and a half years, man. No offense to anybody that I say this to, but you could have terrible health in eight and a half years. You could, God forbid, in eight and a half years. <laughs> You're a year older than me. I say do it. Don't, don't put yourself in a bad spot doing it, but try that two years instead of eight and a half years. How about that? Jasper and Philby, are you going to stay here for Christmas and New Year's? I'll be visiting family, but we'll be back before Christmas. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to be here. Uh, my dad just asked so I was coming out for Thanksgiving. Nah, I got a girl now. We already made plans. We're going to be together for those days. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be here. Fuck it. I ain't spending five grand to go back home, see my dad for a couple hours. Uh, I mean, if he, you know, requested Christmas, I could think about it. Uh, yeah, I'm in Lausanne. I'm hearing Frost has been known to happen there on occasion. Four season tent is recommended. I was surprised. Got you. McNello, he will. Yeah, I'll be here. Hello, take care. Hey, bingo. Hey, auntie. Yeah, tickets are. That's what I'm saying, McNello. It's like t triple the price right now. I don't feel like flying 16,000 miles. I'm fucking way older than you. That last flight kind of took a lot out of me. He's like, are you coming to Thanksgiving? I'm like, no, I'll be with my new girl. And I sent him a picture. And uh, I'm not yet. Yeah, what am I going to spend three hours with him and drop five racks on plane tickets and nice hotel rooms? Uh, I can't do it. And uh, uh, truth be told, I mean, I love my dad, but I wasn't that close with my family. And if he requests me, I certainly will. But he was that was a lightweight request. He has a new girlfriend. He's not alone. Um, I'm not close with my sisters currently. And uh, I don't like 16,000 mile flights. Salute to Matthew. Characteristics of an HV Panay or foreign man. High value Panay or foreign man. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure if that was a question or what, but thank you, bro. Um, your dad ever come see you there? I would love that. His girl travel all over Southeast Asia. She's never been to... Um, never been to the Phil's, but she's a, she likes Thailand. She's together with her ex-husband. Um, I would love that. I think BGC, unless they, uh, you know, Boracay might be a little tricky, but BGC, yeah, they, they could do it in a heartbeat, but that, I don't know if they want to take that long of a flight. Um, yes, yeah, expensive with holiday season. Exactly. It always goes up, guys. Jazz, what about setting up an LLT so the first 112K is tax-free? Anyone else hear about that? Yeah, I did hear about that. I got to look into that for sure, Solo. Uh, hey, Amelia, how are you, Queen? Damn. Yeah, it's crazy, Ed. What the fuck happened? The channel woke the fuck up. Maybe 11 a.m. is the move, right? Uh, hello, John, Jesters. Characters of a high-value Panay or foreign man. Thank you. Um, high-value Panay is not going to ask you for money. Um, my girl's high-value. She has her own money. She pays for things. She offers to pay for things. She knows everything about Manila because she lived here her whole life. And she's just kind of like a Western girl, but still like that traditional, like submissive uh, foreign man. I don't, I don't even know if that was a question. I'm, I'm, this chat is racing. Um, United Airlines now offers direct flights in and out of Manila. So my flight time only 16 hours instead of 23. Yeah, actually it's like 13 hours, 14 hours max. I've done it before and that's the only way I would ever return. I'll fly coach, but I'm flying directly from Manila to Los Angeles. It's 13 hours and 45 minutes. Uh, yeah, 100%. I agree with you, McNello. Um, gonna enjoy this final winter season before I'm leaving the U.S. Although I'm in Florida, so I'm not going to be skiing a lot. It's kind of like currently 60s. Yeah, there is no real, uh, you know, there's no snow here. There's no, it's kind of hot all the time. So I get that, bro. Yeah, that was a question on HV. Yeah, high value man. I mean, uh, I think I just answered about a Filipina. A high value man. There's a lot of them in here, you know. Just, uh, I mean, it depends. A high value is going to be a money thing. You can't be a high value man without having a certain type of earning. A high value man has the respect of other high value men, as the great Kevin Samuels said. Um, rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. Um, has the respect and admiration of other men. Um, has a certain earning criteria. And, you know, operates like an adult, not like a high school girl in these uh, Philippines YouTube things. Um, what's up, Jester Journey? I'm good. Anti Las Vegas is crazy right now, but the Formula One. Oh, nice. Yeah, I lived there 14 years. I feel you. Neon Shades, what's up? Salute. Uh, Matthew HB. Panay should be pretty and smart. HV, foreign man, should be well-organized and respectful. There we go. 
Jeff Robb and Jack said the bills, you don't have to set up an LLC to claim foreign earned income. Yeah, McNella's a lawyer, he knows. Jazz, I heard you have to stay out of the USA for 330 days to do that, so visit home for 35 days a year, I guess. Got you, solo. Busy in traffic chats, holy shit, where's Legend at? John Canella just dropped another five memberships, that's 15. Salute my brother. Holy shit, John Canella. Sponsoring the stream along with Jordan Melby Vlogs. Donated 20 and, and gifted five. Legend, I don't know, I haven't talked to him in a while. Maybe he'll pop in. Maybe he's lurking. Jeff Robb got one. Justin Adamson. Mr. MMA got one. Last American Indian, Alaskan Whiskey got one. Damn. Wait, is that five? Yeah, that is. Holy shit, Matthew Jackson in Jacksonville. How do you know if a Filipina is high value Jasper? Um, a Filipina is high value if she has her own money. She doesn't ask you for any money. She's a lady in the streets and, uh, uh and, um, I mean, I, I got one. So I would just say she has business ideas. She tells me that she doesn't give her whole paycheck to her family and there's not one penny that needs to be ever given. Um, she's like a classy girl that I would have met in America. Yet now that I see the real side of her, she's a real Filipina and man, it's really hard to break this down. You'll know it when you see it. She doesn't need any money. She's got her own money and she's a queen and she dotes on you. And I, I mean, Jesus Christ, I've lost control of the chat at this point. Um, McNeville, what's up? Good to hear the queens are all well. Amelia and Sheila, yes. Filipina thoughts. Not to be middle-aged man, but compression socks are highly recommended for those flights. Healthy blood for <laughs> That's a, a, at least a middle-aged man right there. Reduces chance of clots and strokes. Nice. Salute, John. I'm in my mind in H, high value in H. He's 13 years active Navy, Navy duty. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Jester's journey. John is extremely generous. Bro, the top of the screen is just all John gifted 15 memberships. Jordan gifted five. Jordan donated 20. Wags donated five. This shit's on fire. Thank you, guys. John is beating you. Yes, exactly. Uh, thanks for the good gift, Don C. Blessings to you. Yeah, guys, uh, you should hit the uh, allow gifts, Solo and Sheila right off the top. Uh, many free memberships, but Sheila couldn't get one. Yeah, what's up with that, Sheila? McNello, I'm still cute. I'm here in Jack's as well. Went to Phil's for uh, Jacksonville. Jeff Robb, ladies in the streets, what do you mean? Uh, freak in the sheets. Uh, the last American Indian, I enjoyed your travel videos before you deleted them. Uh, HV Filipina, educated, uh, yeah, educated. College education, street smart, successful. Knows her value and doesn't sleep around much. I agree, Leo. Uh, Florida to the Philippines, easy transition to the weather due to friendliness. Salute to Auntie Parrot. Manners maketh the man. Salute for the 20, Auntie. Thank you, brother. Absolutely. A man will be, you know, a gentleman. A certain earning criteria makes you a high value man. Other men respecting and admiring you. Bosses, you know, talk with bosses. Uh, the last American Indian, is he in here right now? HB educated, uh, Jesus Christ, Florida, the Philippines, easy transition. Yeah, absolutely. It's, human, it's very human. Torvix, what's up, brother? Everybody hit the like. Um, high value stand on business. Exactly, guys. HB Fanai, Sheila. Oh, okay, okay. Um, compression socks. Sounds like my ex-girlfriend. She worked in vein clinics and clap veins. Yeah, right? <laughs> compression socks. I need to go back to chat three. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Uh, Filipino thoughts? This is a new one. Um, blah, blah, blah. business isn't everything service is my respect overall. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, a lot of military guys are disciplined, uh, but you know, definitely, uh, high earning is part of it in my opinion. Yeah. Right. I didn't want to say it, but now I said it. My son is second generation Navy. Nice. He held me. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Kevin Samuels was brutal on the ladies, but he made a lot of sense. And, uh, some of those videos are legendary. And, uh, you know, RIP to him, but a high value man is very obvious. Hey boss, Jay, I think you're only going to have to have a live only for Sheila to get remember. Yeah, right. Exactly. Sheila hit a loud gift. So well, I guess it's good that John keeps trying though. No, it's working out great for me, John. <laughs> Holy fuck. Kevin Samuels is a master for sure. I'm going to make the next live Sheila's membership live. John, please help. <laughs> yeah, I really like Kevin Samuels. He gave the definition of a high value man. I agree with that. Um, a high value Filipino will be college educated, respectful, treat you like a king, and probably hand her handle her family's finances, unless you decide to start gifting. 
Um, blah, 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 blah. Love this view. Thanks, man. Yeah, I decided to flip it the other way. I like the Chase building. I like seeing the cars go by. I enjoyed the other one as well, but I, I think this one's the better one. Um, I grew up in Houston, so the pH climate is more comfortable than Texas what it, here in Pensacola. Uh, good breezes and such, but I bet it's hotter and more humid than... Uh, yeah, yeah, it is very humid here, even in Boracay on the beach. In today's world, us blue-collar men are rare, and we always find a way to make plenty for the table. Yes, Auntie Peric is a high-value man. Yesterday's stream proved that, and just showing some generosity just now. And uh, why only me? Solo as well. I'm not sure what's going on here. Jasper, what are you... What are the red flags for dating a girl in the Philippines? Todd, salute for the 20. A woman is a reflection of her man. Facts. Red flags of dating a girl in the Philippines is going to be automatically asking for money before she even meets you or always hate to get money and that she's hungry or that her phone needs load or this and that. I mean, that's a definite red flag. Um, saying she loves you before she meets you is a red flag. Um, always making plans to spend your money once you meet her in person is a red flag. Um... You know, talking to her exes is a problem for me. I don't allow that. Um, YouTube needs to do like a D Live. You can click a chatter and directly gift or group. Yeah, D Live. I remember D Live. Sheila, come on and grab the FM. Regular guys who doesn't like college educated girls said many times he's all about that simple life, pregnant, barefoot, and in the kitchen. Yeah, well, regular guy can only get those kind of girls. Regular guy could never in a million years pull the girl I got. But uh, respect to everybody, no problem. Uh, she's asking for money always. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yes, just you and me, Sheila, Todd, hey boss, needs a webcam, salute brother, Todd for the 20, salute to Auntie Peric, salute to John Canella for the 15 memberships, salute to Jordan for the 20 and the 5 memberships, salute to Wags, um, needs a webcam, damn Todd, slip, stepping in, yeah, right, exactly, fucking rainbow at the top of the screen, guys, Brazilian Wax, buying a pig, yes, gesture journey can speak on the red flags, how long before you come out here, Todd, yeah, Todd, I think I had to push his, uh, push his trip in March back. I was letting Sheila have her time. Filipina thoughts before I met my husband, I supported my these siblings in college, now they're all done. Got you. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with supporting a family, but if you're a young expat and you know you might want to have that conversation on the first date. Uh, I got into compression socks because the outdoor activities, 18 mile hikes, backpacking, etc. We fell in love with them. And how old are you, uh, Captain Wedgie? Um, long time no see, Todd. How you been? Yeah, Todd's been in here. He pops in and out. Uh, just returning. Todd, holy shit. I'm a fucking auctioneer today. 40 people in the building. Smash the light, guys. Uh, damn, salute to everybody donating and gifting memberships and shit. We're on fire. Getting the memberships back up. Tons of content under there. There's a video under my members only, actually, about the uh, flags. Ba -ba -ba. Lady Zia, Ben Brooks was in yesterday. What pH city are you targeting, Matthew? Yeah, most people come to Manila or Cebu, but either way. Bro, it's crazy, Ed Wow. I'm like, holy fuck, I can't even take a breath, guys. Good problem to have, though. Nice to spark some life back into the channel. Not that it was dying, but definitely the chat wasn't quite racing to the point where I couldn't keep up with it for a moment. Solo, Yellow Star Gang. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with supporting your family as well, but if you get with a foreigner and they automatically need support from him, gotta let, the, let him know that. Got to budget that in. John Canella just gifted five more memberships. Holy fuck, Sheila, come on. Brian Quigley, Pepe Perro, X Aaron X, Supamaka, Jerome Go. Damn, 50 pesos from McNello, salute. System out printing daddy, <laughs> whatever. Um, and we were just merely 11 people earlier and two chatting, right? I'm 48, compression socks are pretty big out there. For old folks homes, gotcha, yeah, I'm 47. Mine had to pause college, mom dipped, she's taking care of her four siblings, never asked for a hint set or pushes for money. I've sent a small amount for her birthday, but it was my idea of choice. Yeah, I don't mind giving gifts, so I'm not gonna put anyone on an allowance. Jasper, if you don't mind me asking, how long do you wait before making a move to intimacy with a Filipina? What would be appropriate? Torbix, you have a Filipina, and you know, but um, for me, I don't wait at all. Um, if a girl tells me no, I'm respectful about that. The first girl I ever dated, she told me no on the first night when things were getting a little heavy and then she came back the next day and said, you're my boyfriend. Um, I don't wait. I, if, if I get alone with a girl, I'll certainly go try to kiss her or whatever and uh, we'll take it from there, but I don't wait at all in any country, but I'm very respectful if a girl wants to not. Uh, it's cool with me, I'm not desperate. Um, uh, Ladies, yeah, I think you can get that FM. Hey from Dallas, what's up, Dave? 
Uh, Mignello, salute. She wants to get back to school. Salute to Mignello for the 50 pesos. Uh, John Canella has now gifted 20 memberships. Holy shit. Uh, hit allow gifts, Sheila, please. What, what's going on here? She wants to go back to school. Nice gesture. Smoke for regular guy again. I don't blame you. He is weird. Oh, he, he, he came for me and did a members only video about me. He was calling me out my name and this and that. And I came into his live and I said, would you speak to me like that in person? You know we're going to see each other. All these guys in the chat will never see each other. But me and you are going to eventually run into each other. Will you speak like that to me in person? He said, no, absolutely not. You're right. This and that. We have a mutual friend in Cal. But he supported uh, Slander Channel and said he likes them and shouted them out. You can't do that, man. There's Listen, you're going to... I'm not going to say anything else. Um, uh, hi, Sheila. Barely saw the message to me. with the, how, the chat is fucking flying. Yeah, guys, hit the like. 33 likes now, Auntie. Auntie. Sheila membership crypt tonight today. Yeah, what's up, Sheila? Well, I guess keep trying, John. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> what's up with Sheila? She won't even answer me when I say, are you hitting allowed gifts? I love how the Filipinas all ignore me. And then just find their boyfriend in the chat. Smash that like. Your mama taught you right facts, Stormblade. Can Muna, I, I, later Jaff for Lurker Mode Naval. Okay. John, most unwilling to go green, huh? Torvik, salute, brother. Two weeks until I land in Manila. Very excited. Nice, brother. That's what's up. Five Australian dollars. Wow, 40 people in the building, guys. Smash the like. Let's get 40 likes. Damn. Straight auctioneer mode enabled. I don't know what the hell's going on with Sheila and Ed Wow. A little tension in the air. A, a fee shares be nice people too. Sheila is famous tonight. You rock girl. Jeff Rob, Month in Makati, Cebu, and CDO. Sorted out. His trip is five months. Last visit was right. Yeah, man. That's the way to do it, Matthew. Just go ahead and uh, take five months. That'll give you a good impression of whether you can really live here. Guys come up for two weeks. You don't know if you want to live here, man. ABC, always be choosing. You should always be leading them to the next step. Yes, be a leader. When women follow, men lead. Oh my God, it's, I bet you are all kinds of pumped with anticipation Torbix. Ninong Jazz just passed by to say hi, going to the market. Adios, okay. Uh, Song Gion Love, okay. Sheila, unfortunately I can't choose who gets them. Yeah, right? Yeah, Sheila, did you press allow gifts? Uh, hey Corey, Filipina Dante Todd, cool Matthew. Come on guys, smash a like. We should have 100 likes with all the people coming in and out. Torbex, welcome to Manila, bro. My advice, travel around a bit if possible. Filipina thoughts, is that a bit of jealousy I see? Torbex, aren't you married? I was gonna say, you've already, he's already been here like eight times. He's got a Filipina. Um, hey, Corey. Yes, Filipina thoughts, I don't know. She likes being the center of attention. Uh, very excited, it's like my eighth time and I always love it. What going on today? I don't know. Hey, thanks, Todd. Thanks for your, thank you for your support. I'm in full auctioneer mode. I can barely fucking keep up with this shit. Yeah, I was going to say, Torbix, what the hell? Making it seem like it's your first time. <laughs> oh, man, this is crazy, guys. My Filipina reminds me of It's Me. Oh, man. Well, then you got a keeper. Raquel is beautiful and a nice nice lady from what I'm seeing. <laughs> Just seeing how others operate compared to me. Oh, all good, bro. Yeah, I hear you. I've had to do quick answers since the chat's racing, and I'm trying not to lose control here. But, yeah, that's off the top. I mean... Oh, you're not a member anymore. I was going to say, I just dropped a video on that, but it's members only. Uh, but no, no sweat. Hit a lot of gifts. Uh, Philippine Nods with Miss Philippines. Michelle D1, Miss Universe. I'll change my hairstyle like her. Okay. Different looks, but the giggling, bubbly personality. Okay. Sheila, haha, -ha, go girl, what color? Next time you have oxygen tank ready. Yeah, right? What the fuck? Holy shit. Need an oxygen tank, guys. I'm dying over here. No, I'm just kidding. This is a good problem to have. I'm going to turn down the air con. Lurker mode enabled. You just can't stay away. Ba ba ba. Yeah, if she does being like the center of attention. She looked caught some beat, and she was like, "Oh yeah, exactly." Filipina dots the queen. Heart poker. Change your name back to kill me. She has like ten names, bro. We've gifted her memberships on multiple accounts, and she pops in on some crazy name. Uh, Auntie Perry, what is the best coffee and meal? I always go to Starbucks. But is there something better? I only do matcha. Starbucks only knows how to do the matcha good. Um, pick up coffee seems a bit watery and like you're getting what you pay for. That's why it's a quarter of the price. Uh, Tom Tom's wasn't bad in Chargao. Uh, I can't even think. I'm just a Starbucks matcha guy or I make my coffee at home. Um, but there's a ton, man, in BGC. Um, I, I've tried them all. Philippine thoughts, no sh color, just to short my hair. Sung Gion Love, what the hell is up with that name? Sung Gion Love, what the heck? 
Hair, yeah, we don't do short hair. My girl was like, uh, I might cut my hair. I'm like, I know you won't. <laughs> I mean, obviously she can do what she wants, but yeah. There's some good matcha place in Mitsukoshi Mall. Nope, I went there, bro. It was a waste of money. Um, it's like a fancy matcha place, and you would think so, but it was more than Starbucks, half the amount of matcha, and Starbucks still kicks their ass. That's what really keeps these live streams alive is me being shot out of a matcha cannon. I do not recommend that place. The Starbucks matcha gets six or seven scoops rather than the four that they put in to the matcha frappuccinos if you like those. And I do not recommend that place as much as I don't want to be a hater. Uh, for me personally, it wasn't my thing, but maybe it's worth a try. Uh, and to really, really, oh man, thanks for the heads up. Yeah, but I mean, you can go try it or maybe you get a matcha latte or, uh, you know, I shouldn't, uh, shouldn't say that, but uh, I went there and then I just went to a Starbucks afterwards. So it ended up costing me like 550 pesos. <laughs> but yeah, I'm right there. I'm craving the main in salt barbecue. Yeah, bro. Torvik's coming for his eighth time. Yeah, Heart Poker, come on. Heart Poker, yeah, what the hell is that name? Sungion Love, what the heck? I'll just call you Love. Guys, 34K incoming, guys. Definitely lit. A lot of people in the chat today, popping in and out. Todd came in, dropped a 20 and bounced. Definitely a lit day in the neighborhood. Ba, ba, ba. I can't even type that new name. Ba, 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 ba. I guess 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. ain't a bad time to go live. Maybe I'll have to switch it up a little or do 10 or something. Jasper, scroll up again uh, to your to your comment, Storm. Uh, different looks, but giggling, bubbly personality. Um, good matcha place. Jasper, scroll. I'm, I'm fucking lost, brother. This shit's racing. Bro, Sheets has some bomb steak there. Steak subs there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, let me know what I missed. Uh, it's really, it, the thing just keeps going. My Filipino reminds me of it. It's me. Uh, always be closing. Always be closing. Yes. Corey is a closer. Down. Oh, man, I'm lost. Um, get back to heart that we know. She has like four accounts, guys. Sheila, she is not even Korean. Yeah, that's crazy. Some people are just uh, creative with their names. They like Koreans. Hey, does your guy that you like know that you uh, like him yet? Uh, Some Gyeon Love. What's Hart's new name now? It's Some Gyeon Love. Uh, JL Danghwan, Heart Poker, just to name a few. Hot Filipina Thoughts. Yeah, she's definitely hot. That is a fact. Only find her in here. Uh, so what's Hart's name now? Hot Filipino Thoughts. Uh, 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 oh, wow. It's already been an hour and eight minutes. Okay, guys. I'm chilling out. John, it's a Korean name. Hmm. A lot of Koreans out here, guys. Somebody was telling me Koreans are more popular than white guys. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Again, Ninong Sunggyeon means hidden, hidden love. Oh, so you're still hiding your love from your true love? Got it. My building has lots of Korean dudes. Mine too. Heart poker fans of Korean K-pop, I think. Yeah, a lot of Filipinos are. I don't get the allure, but hey, I'm not trying to be a hater. Make your own coffee, Ninja Coffee Maker, Death Wish Coffee, Amazon or Direct. Yeah, I want to find Death Wish. I got to go on Amazon. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That shit's strong as hell. Thanks, Stormblade. That's a good one. Yeah, Ninja Coffee Maker. Uh, Wish Coffee, Amazon. Yeah, Amazon delivers here $49 free. I definitely was looking for some very strong coffee, and Death Wish is probably the strongest. John, she probably loved Korean. Jasper is sweating. Dude, this is crazy, John. So if I'm in Ilo Ilo, I should never go over to Gumaras for the good beaches. It seems it's just are just ports and not much sand by the city. Same with Cebu, go over to Mactan Island, am I right? Mactan is a man-made beach. The most beautiful beach is Boracay Island, Station One. Um, Bohol is nice, Chargao is eh. Um, Palawan, uh, Mactan is just a man-made beach, but it's okay. Uh, yes, true Jasper, but I find it is Korean more feminine. Yeah, I don't get the allure. I would just assume you should date a Filipino if you like Koreans, but what the hell do I know? 
Um, Filipino thoughts, you just mentioning such thing made the haters jaw drop. Isn't there an area in Manila brimming with Koreans? Uh, my old building in Makati was all Koreans. Um, the Tryon Towers is all Koreans. Um, Chinese and Koreans at air residences. Uh, my current building is not Koreans. It's mainly like white dudes and rich Filipinos. Um, Koreans are popular because every Filipino watches those gay ass K drama Netflix. Yeah, facts. Bro, John, overtime, brother. What the fuck? Yeah, um, yeah, I don't like those things. I want to meet Shark in Boracay, SP. Um, Koreans love the Philippines, it seems. Sexy, oh, oh my god, Starbucks is all Koreans in Boracay. Um, sexy and hot, Miss Filipina Thoughts, LMAO. Jeff, good for you. Try visit Ilo Ilo. My province is sure love it there. McNello, anti common, it's not here to fight. I like Sheila. Some Gyon means hidden. If I move to the Philippines, what should I do in regard to medical and teeth? Is it is medical free there for citizens or do citizens pay out of pocket as well? What's the cost for teeth cleaning? I just had a teeth cleaning for 1500 pesos. I'm in uptown BGC, so it's going to be more here than anywhere else. You get a teeth cleaning in Boracay for probably 500 pesos. You get what you pay for. Um, I would suggest Novo Dental here in BGC. Beautiful, mysterious miss. Filipino thoughts. Anti parrot, sir. Okay, some Gyeong love. Some Gyeong love. Every girl comes in and says, I'm just checking in. I must go immediately right now. And then they proceed to type 400 messages. <laughs> I don't know if the medical is free here. I'm not sure. I don't think it is. <coughs> Anti parrot, salute for the 10 bucks. I want to swim with the whale sharks. Nice, my brother. Anti parrot coming in hot. Heart, you're the most stunning in the chat. Um, I don't know. I think Filipino thoughts and heart are pretty hot. But uh, oh wait, she calls me Godfather, so I'll take heart out of that. Just Filipino thoughts. <laughs> oh man, this is insane, John. What the fuck? I will be making Elo Elo my new home in February. Book the one spatial condos for the month as I house hunt with a Texas buddy who is moving there from Cebu when his lease ends. Nice, Jeff. Is that you, Hart? Sheila. Shark is an older expat's nickname, 16 years in Philippines. Got you, got you. Yeah, there's a ton of uh, older expats in Bora and everywhere, but mainly in the provinces. Boracay, with a K-A-I. The whale sharks want to swim with you. Is there a lot of gangs in there? Is it safe for foreigners? It's very safe for foreigners, don't trip. Don't be flashy, don't wave around your iPhone 14 Pro Max. Be aware of your surroundings. Where are you gonna swim with the sharks? I'm just joking. Uh, I think in Cebu is where you do that. I am with my mom going to market in Ninong. Okay, boss. Uh, John Canella, Jasper, the godfather of the Philly Will. Well, John, you're John Coleone. I talked to you on the phone, sir. John's like, we gotta talk. I'm like, forget about it. Then I called him, I'm like, holy fuck. This fucking guy, eh? Tony Soprano reincarnated, gangsters. Scott, thanks. I'm completely fucking lost. This shit is racing. I don't know who Scott is. Jester's Journey, sir. Those broad shoulders are tasty to the sharks. Yeah, exactly. Yes, sir. That's why I don't go swimming with the sharks, guys. I'm a little too broad. 37 likes. 36 people watching. Smash the like. We should have 100 likes by now. I guarantee you 200 people came in and out of here in the last hour and 15 minutes. Ba, 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 John Canella, <laughs> fucking jester, never stops. <laughs> oh man, you guys are killing me. Where's Legend? Where's Fifth? Where's everybody at? Where's JP Ortega? Where's Joan, the beautiful Joan? I can't wait to. I can't wave my phone in a tropical paradise surrounded by women. Oh no, please don't. Oh, you can at the beach. They never fuck with you. The scooter snatchings are common in Makati uh, and Pasai. Depends where you live here, but I've been there heaps of times. As long as you're respectful, you shouldn't have any issues with gangs or stuff. Yeah, I've never had an issue with gangs. Um, never had an issue with anything at all. I have seen stuff go down in Manila, but uh, it, it's not Los Angeles. Gangs, I mean, now nah, you're good. Um, I was nice. Ba, ba, ba. Philippine thoughts, message Joan. Okay, let me message her real quick, see if she comes in. Hang on. Holy shit, guys, it's lit. 
Joan, where you at? I'm live. What you won't do? Do for love. Chaldean. Torbix. Wow, look at that. Sung Gyeong Love. Sung Gyeong Jin Love. Maybe Sung Gyeong Love's new boyfriend will be a Korean. I'm just going to call you Heart Poker. That shit's uh, too much to pronounce. What's the difference between a passport bro and a passport king? Well, a passport bro is supposed to only be a black guy, and then they call white guys passport Joe or expat, so I just made it all passport king, because I saw a video saying, this is how Filipinos, Filipinas treat their passport kings, and I was thinking, that's spot on, that's right, that's how my girl treats me, and if you're a passport king, if you get your motherfucking passport, you got the nuts to get on the airplane. That means hidden love, where is the love hiding? Yeah, right, exactly. Can you... Sing Quando Quando Ninong Jazz. I don't know what that is. I thought you were gonna say Quando Rondo. Ba ba ba. I'm concerned about Joan. Hope you well. Yeah, me too. What about Brown guys? Solo Journeyer. Uh, heart Poker. Como esta ka na ake. Ake. Yeah, I just message her. Let's see if she reads it, guys. Hang on. Holy shit! Getting to take a breath. Very nice. Uh, did you ever answer if you hit the loud gifts, Sheila? John Canella gifted like 25 memberships trying to get you one. Heart Poker, new name. Yeah, I'm, I'm just calling her Heart Poker. Torbridge Passport King is taken. Passport Bros, I think, single, fine, love, just playing around. Mm, yeah, I guess you're right, Filipino thoughts. Uh, it's like a Passport King like has a queen, right? But hey, I meant in the title for just, you know, guys that get their goddamn passport and come out with it, a white, black, Mexican, whatever. Chaldean, hello. Yes, Chaldean. What about brown guys? Filipino thoughts, salamat, no need, jazz, give it to others. No, 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 it's random, and someone just gifted 25 trying to get you one. Uh, if you're a big fan of the channel, like you seem to be, uh, you'll get access to a lot of content you've never seen. So I'm not I'm not giving it. It's, it's, a, it's my supporters. Yes, kings need to have queens. Yeah, that's true. I wasn't thinking about that, though. I was just thinking about guys that are, have the uh, guts to get on the airplane. Although, most guys are taken, like, at the airport. So, either way. Uh, Sheila said, don't worry about it. Give, it's a random gifting, though. And it's not given by me. And um, John Canelo was trying to get you one. And... You're missing a lot of content if you don't get one. So, no, we want you to have one. King has the money for a throne and the other has money for a season. Yeah, right? The other's a two-week millionaire. Passport King is someone that can come out here and sustain, like myself. But I got the best supporters in the world. I blew up on YouTube and I came out here with a few dollars. Don't come out with five grand and a GoPro and think you're going to be the next Filipino P, guys. Come on. Storm, why you translate Sheila's English to English? Yeah, right, Filipino thoughts? <laughs> oh, I will sing it for everyone. Tell me when you will be mine. Tell me. Uh, yeah, maybe you got to tell that to your boyfriend, your Korean boyfriend in Manila. Let him know. Yeah, a lot of people should hit allow gifts. Sheila, Chaldean. Some young love, Torvix, all not members. I was repeating for the auctioneer. Yeah, thank you. Holy shit. This shit's crazy. Finally getting to take some breaths. That was an hour and 20 minutes of just straight losing control of the chat. Trying to read super chats and memberships and all kinds of shit. Wow. Filipina, he can't translate to Tagalog. Yeah, I don't translate to Tagalog. I'm, I'm an American that's just learning. And um, you want to, in my chat, you guys are talking amongst yourselves in Tagalog. I'm reading a chat that's going too fast for one human being, let alone translating a language I don't know. The humidity upcoming in Manila will be quite sticky. Yeah, facts. I didn't realize I didn't, it, I did it allowed gifts. Yeah, I was going to say Filipino Thoughts finally got one after a while. I was being nice. Fuck my life. Holy shit, I am lost. 
a lot to keep up with here. But we got the beautiful ladies in the chat. We got the high value bosses. And we're all passport kings when we book that flight. Natuto Ako, thank you. Oh, I can't. You're good, Stormblade. Oi. Filipina thoughts. Interesting, Solo. Um, yeah, good question. Facebook Palm should be here by now. He said it was moving by the end of the year. Um, depends on what happens with my girl. I'll keep my spot in Boracay. Could live there too. Um, Manila is just the only full service city here. Cebu is the only other chance, but I think I'm good on Cebu. Um, no immediate plans to vacate, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes with my girl. Probably always keep Barakai for my back and forth, but uh, I don't know. It's hard to say, brother. Now the chat's getting slow. Yeah, I, I appreciate it though. Let me take a breath and it's hardly slow, but it's slower than before. I wouldn't be able to keep up with that, to be honest. I'm thinking Bad Yow area, nice, yeah, nice and cooler there. Wags, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it's actually hard at 47 years old to read a chat like that that's racing and trying to acknowledge everything. Um, about 80 minutes of that is good for me. Um, nah, not really. I'm not really interested in Vietnam, to be honest with you, but I hear a lot of good things about it, but uh, I'm more into uh, Bali or Thailand. And then now I have a girl, like before I didn't have a girl, so it's just like whatever, but now you got a girl, you know, and your girl's got money too, and you know, it's kind of tricky, to be honest with you. Thanks, I've been working through it on this speech app. Nice, nice, yeah, uh, Fifth Seed has been doing that too. Or I don't know if he does it on an app, but he's been flexing his cigar log. Where the hell is Fifth Seed at? Where's Legend? Where's uh, Neanderthal was in yesterday? That was nice. I'm learning Sheila. Nice, nice, yeah. It's a good thing to do. Yeah, that makes sense, mate. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, no, I, I wouldn't mind checking out Vietnam, but I mean, it's whatever. Not like booking a flight right now. Bali is flooded with Aussies. Yeah, Bali's total digital nomad, white people everywhere, all the you know, big time guys out there, but uh, I wouldn't mind checking it out once. Um, yeah. Strong back, yeah, city nights to visit. Uh, yo, Todd, how are you going? Oh, Todd's back, okay, yes sir. Good evening, Jasper from sunny Southern California. Hey, John Croissant, how are you? Everybody hit allow gifts or uh, consider getting a membership. The link is in the bio. There is probably over 50% of the contents in there, exclusive videos, live streams, all that shit. Thank you so nice to visit, but to live, man. Well, Torbert knows he's been here eight times, guys. I'm not sure. I've never been there. Heard it's nice and cool. You tried everything, but you don't give up. In my world, only you. Good thing I slept for three hours. I almost did an all-nighter and did this. I wouldn't have been able to read half those chats. Oi, a little sip of this tea. Mm -mm. I've heard Thailand is more transactional versus caring, family-oriented, look for good-looking. Yep, big facts, Stormblade. Beautiful country, spent three years with a Thai woman. You are spot on. I'm doing well, hope you are too. Maybe your next shift could be baggy, very nice to visit. Yeah, could be. Solo journey, my friend who works in Korea just taught me with that word. Got you, got you. That's a pretty big statement, though, to make it your name as a Filipina. Um, oh, my God, I, I can't even begin to try to pronounce that, my friends. 33.9, let's see how far we are from 34, guys. Membership's going back up. Okay, we are 58 away from 34,000. 
check the membership. What you want to do? Okay, guys. Is Manny Pacquiao still the most famous Filipino? I believe he is. He's the only one that I knew. Besides Bruno Mars, who was half. Um, Stormblade, heard that too. I think Phuket area, the rest, I think. Yeah, I would go to Phuket. Uh, I'm Tate Darlene. Guys, like and subscribe. Yes, please like and subscribe, guys. We have 39 likes. And I guarantee you probably 300 people came in and out by now. Yes, Torvix. I'm Tate Darlene. Ante. Ba, ba, ba. Hour and a half in. 85 minutes in. My heart is already in the Philippines. Yeah, bro. This chat will give you a good taste of it because you got a lot of Filipinas in here. You got a lot of guys that are here. You got a lot of guys that are coming here. A lot of guys that have been here eight times. Um, so it's kind of a nice little idea you're looking at a view of it you know we'll be at Boracay on the beach now that you're a member you can see all those old Boracay videos you can see the Shargao videos you can see the girls you can see the uh you know Cebu Makati my old penthouse all that shit okay I'm lost on the uh, speaking to Galvan nice auntie what app are you using yes auntie's putting in the effort ladies Do for love, you try it. You have good friends. It's fun to learn new words. More of Taglish now than Tagalog. Yeah, my girl's like, that lady's trying to speak Taglish to you on the phone because she said ho or something. And I'm like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> She's like laughing. <laughs> when we called Boracay and we put four months of my cable bill on her GCash. And the, the lady was like trying to speak taglish to me. I'm like, whatever. Oh crap, I thought this chat was, was the sport chat for the soon to be father. Oops, <laughs> whatever, Jester. I think you need the fucking DNA test, bro. I feel like that girl's probably pregnant with her Filipino boyfriend's kid, with all due respect. Oh, and by the way, I'm counting down the days, Jester. I think you're gonna owe me a hundred bucks. <laughs> Jester doubted me and said that my girl will get bored with me if she's so elite. What do you think, Filipina thoughts? Would you get bored with me? <laughs> Just her. I'm from Croatia originally, Peru, Nasa, USA, Akonegi, Young, whoa. Um, I can tell you how to speak my language, Rosetta Stone. Yes, more taggers now because you are coming from the Philippines. Philippines. Philippines, yes. Torvix, when I first went to Philippines, I could be stunned to see a foreigner now. It's super common. Yeah. Yeah, nobody cares. No, I said you. one of you would get bored. You or her. Yeah, okay, okay. Jester's journey told me that if my girl is truly as elite as I say she is, that she will get bored. Now he's flipping it to one of us will get bored. Um, do you think that is the case? Good up your thoughts. Just fucking with you, Jester. You know I love you. Let's see how it works. Yeah, fuck that. Hoi Neon, do you know why I use it? Name or account because someone commented yesterday on my video of the heart poker and it seems like a hater of yours because it has a video about you. Okay, don't mention that here and don't care. Jasper's girl has him on a short leash. Oh no, I have her on a leash. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I can probably make a list of the words most used day to day in transit then, wow. And I'll never said elite any woman. No, no, no. You said if she's really that elite and making that much money. Yes, you did, Jester. The smart expats get snipped. Not sure, is she? I have no clue. Now we're lost. Okay, guys. Um, I just figured I'll be quiet for the first two months then. I just figured be quiet for two months then. Yeah, right? Exactly. I got to win that 100 bucks from Jester. Just fucking with you, Jester. I take it back. Don't worry about it. Okay, babush. No, I'm saying people like give these haters so much power. I'm the one with 30... 4,000 subscribers. I'm the one making a living on YouTube. If some fucking doofus pops up and starts putting my name in the title and gets fame, 
Why do people let them have a voice and mention them and stuff? It's silly. It's a nobody. It's a bum. It's somebody that I embarrassed. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's impossible for me to keep up with the chats, brother. It's impossible for me to, to catch every chat now. I just had to fix another cup of coffee, but yeah, I don't even know. It's gotten crazy. Holy shit, I'm spilling coffee on my white shorts. Great. Oh, now it's just a little, a little splash. Splash. Drip. I can teach you how to speak my language, Rosetta Stone. Gio Rique, to name a few. I don't think you're, so your girl get bored, woman who I love never gets bored. Yeah, I don't know. I was just curious. You never know, though. You might be right. We've came close to breaking up many times. We will have crazy uh, disagreements. And I was like, listen, you're never going to get me to operate like other people and I'm always going to, I don't know, let me, let me shut up. Uh, yeah, we've had crazy disagreements, it could end. You never, never, never know, guys. This In my world, only you. Lost about the snip. Um, that's exactly. You speak Spanish. You have a lot. Red Horse Cake Truck, 910 Lachanza Music, Dance Horse and Lights as well. Gio Rico, to name a few. Certainly, I think he took a bio break. What's your deal with the ladies now? Do you have a new girl? That one that came in the chat that day, Ante? Are you back with your old girl? What happened? Ba -ba -ba. I think he took a bio break. Um, is, the Lachan is amazing in the Philippines. I know Italian is the same as Latin. Want coffee too? Yeah, I made a little coffee. Uh, try the Chan, Sarap, there, your favorite barbecue place. I think it's part of the make things spicy. She's want security for you, from you, sir, and Den, and Den, Santa Oil. Yeah, she's like, don't say and Den, or until now, that's your ex-girlfriend. I'm like, no, it's not. And then the other morning before she left, she's like, and Den, and Den, oh, no, no, until now. Masarap. Dante, if you know Spanish, it's easy to turn to Galaga, the Elongo Direct. America, this is known as a flex, the pimp hand. Women and men are too different. No, just working my tail off. Holy fuck, guys. Just when you thought the auction was over. Oi. Feeling more alive off of this coffee already. What you want to... What is my favorite barbecue place? Um, haven't really been going to barbecue places. Oh, Korean barbecue. Uh, there is so many Korean barbecue. I can't even think of the name of the one I went to the other day. There's like 10 of them here. I love Korean barbecue, though. You chilling with a lady now, Jay? Yeah, I got a lady now, bro. You've been, it's been a minute, Joel. You got gifted a membership yesterday. I was like, holy shit, I ain't seen Joel in a minute. Yes, sir. Yeah, I got a girl now. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Just new, though. It's been like, uh, we've, been, we've been hanging out like a month and a half. Probably been like a fish over like a couple weeks or some shit. Um, blah, blah, blah. I'm at work right now. Slow night on the swing shift. Nice, bro. Blah, blah, blah. I speak a little Portuguese. That really helped me learn Skylog. Nice. Enjoy the fellowship chat. There's time to tuck in my uh, late tonight. Hey, salute Jeff Roth. Thanks, man. Uh, it's like I speak the words probably, but I have no idea what I'm saying. Like I can read it. Yeah, right? Sheila, 4,000 gala words are from Spanish, even more from the science. That's what's up. Uh, yeah, salute Joel Ortega for joining us again. Good night, Jeff Rob. Hey, Joel. Good night, Jeff Rob. Manila area lady. Yep. Born and raised in Manila her whole life. No province girl here. This girl's a uh, total boss. Got 
Uh, she's a high-earning elite Filipina. I don't like Korean barbecue, super overrated. Um, depends on the place you go to. Some of them are nasty, some of them are really good. I've been doing Korean barbecue since Las Vegas. My Chinese girl took me to Korean barbecue the first time when I had a Chinese girl in Vegas. Uh, thank you, Storm Sir. What up, Todd? Hart Barker, where are you? Mate, try Ray's barbecue. You can, it's good, but Manny Inasal is the best. Yes, solo. Damn. The auction ain't over, guys. The auction ain't over. Okay, 39 likes. Everybody smash the like button right now. Come on, guys. Let's get to 50 likes. That's the way to go. Yeah, man. Shit, I took my time. I, I, you know, I couldn't make it make sense with some of these other girls. Beautiful girls, amazing, but I couldn't really make it make sense. Uh, this girl, it's making some sense so far. Um, but shit, I took me 12 months. Well, I've been talking to her since like late August. Then she like forced me to meet her like early October, right before my birthday. And uh, we've been rocking since then. But we'll see. Like I was saying, we, uh, she's not a, just a yes sir only type. She's uh, she got her own money and she's, uh, yeah. How can I fucking explain this? <laughs> I figured there's an event of some kind where I spoke loud in person, proving I learned the tongue in front of people for added shock factor, like a boss. Yes, sir. Romantic bad boy is my favorite barbecue. Yeah, I heard of that one. Somebody else told me to go there. Was your girl's parents elite? Just curious. Um, I don't think they're elite, but she explained to me their situation, and they're not really, they're not on any type of allowance or anything. I wouldn't say elite at all, but they're better off than these other girls' parents. Um, I don't want to go into details, but they're middle class-ish if that exists in the Philippines. Uh, she gifts them things once in a blue, but um, yeah, I, you know, I try to keep it really, uh, yeah. But n no, n they're not a lead. It's not, you know, she's not a Pacquiao. <laughs> if she doesn't make at least some dollars, it doesn't make sense, correct. And when I say some dollars, it can't be $300 a month. No offense, I would have plucked a girl out of a Jollibee cashier position if I fell for her, uh, I didn't. Um, mine is a waitress, but one of the cooks too, so I'm set for the food if we're together. Nice. Jasper about to get married. No, I'm not getting married, Mignello. No, 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 no. Shit, it took a while to even get me to, you know, be a boyfriend. Jester, shall we up the ante? Ba ba ba, born and raised in Manila, went to AMA business management. Itch, bin, off slender, itch. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, what's up, Patrick? Sean, only coffee has octane for this chat flow, 34K on the horizon. Yes, I just had a matcha, now I'm doing a coffee. Guys, gotta keep it going. Hit the like. Yeah, I think we'll get married soon too. I, 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 you guys are crazy. It, it took her a while to even get a title out of me. You guys are crazy. Patrick Sean, what up? I, I am 50 away or something. Smash the like. No, I am not getting married, Miguel. I am just having a girlfriend like you. You got a girlfriend? Can I, can't I have one too, Miguel? I'm close, bro, but not maybe tomorrow morning or, I mean, unless something starts going up. Yeah, I don't, I, look what happened to Mary Rose and Erica. I don't, I'm too famous, with all due respect. I got 30 people in the chat, but you see what happened to these girls? If I post a girl, she's a fucking, they're using my name and doing, what the fuck? I didn't realize I was so famous, but yeah, these girls don't get paid for my YouTube channel. I'm even vague as fuck while still telling you guys what's up. Todd, did you say up? Ba, ba, ba. Auntie Peric, salute, brother. Up, up, and away we go. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, Todd said, should we up the Auntie? I'm not sure. Um, uh, salute to Auntie. Yes, sir. Death Wish just released coconut caramel, their flavor spelling. Yeah, I felt like I tried to look for it on Amazon, but they don't deliver to Philippines, but I'll check it as soon as I get off the stream. I've been looking for some super strong coffee for me and my girl. I got a decent one, but Death Wish sounds like my move. Filipina Thoughts, you have to get 50 of your friends to subscribe. Yes, please, Filipina Thoughts. Filipina Thoughts channel is going up somehow. Todd, okay, okay, I like this game. Let's see, Filipina Thoughts, how the fuck are you getting so many subscribers? 121, what the hell? John Nova, uh, Auntie Parrick, Sus, Auntie, your turn. You can have a girlfriend, I'm just saying I think you'll accidentally get her pregnant a few times and buy her a house. I'm broke! I can't buy a house with nothing, not with thin air, I'm broke. <laughs> hey, she's got money. She actually, you know what, I can't go into detail, but there's no need for that. 
I'm, listen, man, I'm way too famous. Just kidding, guys. I got 32 people in the chat. Um, pregnant. What the hell? John, what friends? No, all my friends here are married. McNello, Charut. Jesus fucking Christ, guys. Um, I used to say char, and people told me that pretty much only gay people say char, so I stopped, guys. <laughs> McNello. Just saying, if you actually get her pregnant a few t a few times accidentally. Copico. I don't think Copico is that strong. It's not that good. What the fuck? Hell no. I'm buying that in Barakai. Oh, no, no. Mary Rose in the chat. Santa Hall. To the great Mary Rose. Geises. Salute to Auntie for the 10. Not friends in USA, Filipino docs there in Phil's. You have to have friends there still. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, it's oh, no, no. Two notes, man. Damn, they got you snagged and bagged and tagged at once. Hell no. You guys are crazy. This girl is lucky to get the title out of me after a month or so. A couple months of knowing her. Spend the night every night. I'm not that, I'm not that easy to knock off, my friends. I'm going to marry a girl. I got to know her for years. Plural. Years. And it's got to make sense for me. But getting a title out of me, like, no, I'm not interested in nobody else. I mean, uh, I, again, it's, it's a shame that I'm not able to share. But, hey, that's what happens when everybody ruins the party. <laughs> Damn, they get snack tagging back. Death wish, Starbucks grand, 120 grand. Damn. 120 milligram, final boss. In the Philippines, I know friends signals. The Filipinas in USA are married or changed. No offense. 1,000% you are correct. I know plenty of Filipinas in Vegas, dancers. Doctors, nurses, uh, they are American women with exotic looks. If Filipina Thought stays there for a while, she will be that. She's new right now. Italian coffee machine. I have an espresso machine in Boracay. Uh, Merchim, I see him around like every day. Uh, I think that he likes Thailand, but he's out here to make money. And he's making a lot of it. Salute to him. He works hard. Uh, I used to watch him back in the day. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to say anything negative about him. Salute to merge him. He's the man. He's making bank. Check his fucking social blade. He's killing it. Um, I don't really have any thoughts because I'm too busy making my own. Yeah, exactly, McNello. What the fuck? Um, it's me, Raquel. It didn't change. It's me, Raquel. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But she's with a dude that's in shape that's like eight years, six years older than her. And, um... Raquel is a rare diamond. Um, ba, 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 Mary so Philippine Dots 122 now just subbed and they know it too. Yeah, I want to see that girl's picture. Thanks for nothing, Internet Trolls. Yeah, facts. Oh man, and this one would be a banger. Um, no disrespect to anyone else, but holy fuck. Yeah, right, Torbix? I'm not, I didn't say nothing negative about him. Um, I'm a creator, he's a creator, he's much bigger than me. He's the man, he does daily vlogs. Uh, I'm not saying anything negative. I'm also not like, you know, his biggest fanboy. You know, it's all good. I see him and I feel like he knows me and I know him, but we don't speak. But he's, he's way bigger than me. He's a vlogger, vlogger, not a live streamer. Definitely doing his thing, so look, virgin. Exactly. We're the two guys probably bringing guys into BGC, realistically, if I do be so bold as to say I brought a couple people here. Thank God I knew what's going on in the Western. I'm smart enough to keep my man, sir. Um, yeah, I mean, you've only been there a few months. We'll see what happens. Ninja Coffee Maker can do cup, travel, mug, carafe, half, or specialty. That is espresso, not just done under pressure. Yeah, I ordered an espresso machine to Boracay. I never even opened it. Uh, we'll see. Uh, to be fair, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I'm not dissing him. I, uh, he's awesome. Salute to him. Uh, sometimes I tune in every now and then. Uh, he's the man. Uh, he's much bigger than me, and I think a lot of people have came to BGC because of him. I think a few people have came because of me, or I know they have. Um, I'm the new guy. He blew the fuck up, and he does a vlog every single day. I usually see them and see his views. I don't have time necessarily to watch them, but that's because I'm creating content. Holy shit, taking a breath.
I used to do daily vlogs, um, basically, and uh, now it just seems like this is a live stream channel. It became very popular to hate me, and um, I'm not given the normal pervert message of date an 18-year-old and, you know, getting all... I mean, it's, it's hard to really break it down, but yeah, there's no money in videos. Um, it's hard for me to really break this down. I'm just doing the, doing the, the lives now and just doing a few. It's brutal work doing daily vlogs. True, true. Have you met Savvy X by Jeffries in New York? Yeah, he's 19. Uh, Korean, Filipina, um, unfiltered, was trying to get us together. Uh, salute to him, man. He's doing his thing. I've never met him. I've never seen him. Uh, no, get the ninja Swiss Army cotton knife or coffee maker. Yeah, I mean, I already bought the other thing, but yeah, I will. Filipina thought you're going to bolt after getting your green card. Oh, fuck, John. A few months, been there more than three years. We were just stationed in Italy. Now we're back to the U.S. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, usually, eventually, if you were with an older expat, it would already happen. Being with a guy your own age, if he's, you know, attractive to you, you should be fine. Uh, Raquel was fine with It's Me. Um, usually after about a decade in the West, if you're in an age gap, you know, uh, 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 yeah, respect to you. You said Italy, so I thought you were just there a few months. And then there's an Italy gap in there, so you're still relatively new to my country, to be realistic with you. Yeah, yeah, it takes a while, Filipino thoughts, and then it's usually for age gap, not for girls with a handsome 28-year-old, so you should be fine. I'm not, what do I know? <laughs> yeah, well, nobody is at first, but yeah, now I got you. John, what the fuck? I think they're married in Philippines, not in U.S., uh, so it's different. I think he made a point of that. Smart man. I have two citizens, sir. Why you talk to y'all like you know me? If you have a green card, you can't be gone longer than six months without issues. Jasper, have you had to do an exit clearance thing yet? Nope, never done it. We'll have to do it. You need a couple of like little pictures of your beautiful face. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's people that have videos on that shit. I've never done it. Uh, what you won't do. Hello, I saw McNello at the Century Mall. He's hot. Philippine Lots, I'm just kidding with you. Auntie, if you can get an 18 month extension, her husband in the military, don't think it's an issue. Ba, 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 until now. Smash the like, guys. 41 likes. Okay, guys, let's do it. Let's get up to uh, 50. John, you know me then myself now, even more than myself. When do you leave, McNello? You can send me, oh shit, I was gonna do a joke about your girlfriend then I realized I have a girlfriend, my bad. <laughs> what the fuck? I've lost 15 pounds since you saw me, damn. Hell yeah, bro, that's what's up. I don't think you were fat though. Maybe a little chubby. A little chubby chubby as they say in the Philippines. 15 pounds. Ripped Chad McNello. Got an eight pack now. I've had a green card since 19. Oh yeah, you're from uh, Croatia. Shit, I was about 13. Or me and Auntie are the same age. Ba -ba -ba. John, you know me more than myself. McNello. 15 pounds. McNello's ripped. Ready to go to the fucking Barack guy, rip his shirt off on the beach. I leave November 20th. Damn. Oh, okay. So you're going real quick, like two weeks. Zing. Military has its own regulations and rules. Got it. Got it, got it, guys. Have you ever considered meet up for members? Yeah, I've considered it. I just haven't done it. I mean, people see me all the time, and I've talked to them for like a half hour, 40 minutes. A uh, guy in the store the other day I made a video about. Uh, another guy. Uh, people approach me a lot more than you guys would think, and uh, I'll usually chop it up with them solo but I have not done like the whole like rent a venue or like meet at a restaurant thing just yet. Most people seem to be in the West and then come in for a week or two or whatever. But yeah, it could make sense to do it in Barakai or probably more than likely in Manila, of course, because that's like, you know, easy peasy. BGC, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I should do it. But uh, no, I've never done it. I just do it one at a time. Just question of Philippine thoughts. Are Philippines shy about admitting they have a green card? Nothing wrong with it, it's just a question. Um, props to McNello. McNello effing or dieting. Um, are you citizen yet, Auntie? We have a kid too. 
I'm not gonna ruin my own family. Marriage is fundamental for us Filipinas. Nope, Sunshine Shoulders does them regular, seems fun. Yeah, for sure, Sunshine does do them, I see that. He's been doing them like every month now in a different location. He'll go to like Ilo Ilo or Cebu, or I think he was staying at Rises 101 after one of his, and I saw him and uh, his partner there at the coffee shop. They said I was a DACA child. What are you waiting for, Auntie? Gestures, I don't have a green card. I am a US citizen. Got it. Not bad. Do for love. You try to everything, but you don't give up. Excuse the singing, guys, if you're new to the stream. I'm sorry about that. I do, I do uh, apologize, folks. Until now and then. Visayan girls are versatile when they have a green heart the PR. Tagalog girls are a bit more shy on it. Way to go for Lapina Dots. Todd, haha, dieting in the gym. Actually, very little effing, not in the mood. Just want to be in nature and go to the gym. Did you break up with your girl? Can't get papers from a country that no longer exists on paper but is renamed since I left. Sorry, Justin, everyone. <coughs> <coughs> Out for lunch. See you all next live. Have fun. God bless. Uh, gotcha, Auntie. Later, Sheila. Nope, I'm not single. Okay, McNello. Nice. Not in the mood at 30. I don't know. It sounds like a... Just kidding. It's all good. Enjoy nature. You move, you move into the province after your lease is up or what? Not in the mood to mess around either. Oh, nice. No more lady boys coming to the door. Look at you. Turn over a new leaf. 31, here we come. Just fuck with you, boss. Um, yeah. Uh, for me personally, I wouldn't get a girlfriend if I was going to, you know, still be single, but I'm also 47. Yes, sir. Hit the gym. Yeah, so I just renew my permit, legal residency permit every decade. Audi 07, salute, brother. Have fun. Have fun. Hey, salute, brother. Audi. Audi 07, salute, Storm Blade, thanks for checking in, bro. I go live most days, 9 a.m. or 11 a.m. or just look out for the notifications. Appreciate you becoming a member and donating. I'm gonna wrap this up at the two hour mark in eight minutes, uh, barring any type of disaster happening to extend the stream. But yeah, appreciate you, boss. I usually just do two hours on the nose. So we are right there. You tried everything, but you don't give up. Now that you're a member, check out some of the videos. Members only, the lives and shit. If you got time, you want to binge watch some of it. You chilling. McNello. Thanks, man. Storm Blade, Peace Storm. Definitely a good live. Meet the girl of your dreams, wine her diner, reach up her skirt, and grab a log. Whoa! Oh, no. A lot of Filipino here married for 20, 40 years, still married, and a lot that aren't. Be honest with you. Oh, seven is salute like an emoji. Yeah, no, I feel you. Uh, Audi. Ah, uh, the new American dating scene. You try to have <coughs> Oh, my God. Roger, Roger, brother. 10-4. Auctioneer mode officially disabled. Holy shit, that was a lit one, guys. Everybody hit the like. 42 likes or something. Should have 100 likes easy. Ba -ba -ba. Joan needs to stop by so we can end the stream. Exactly, Joan, what the fuck? Let me see if she checked my Facebook message, guys. We gotta wrap it up. We need Joan in here. Jesse sent me a photo. Who the hell is that? Your new girl? <clears throat> well, I'm going to bed. All right, Auntie, thank you for your support of the stream. Salute to John Canella for sponsoring the stream with all those memberships. Auntie, Stormblade, Todd, Jordan Melby Vlogs, everybody for tuning in. Torbix, if you're doing out and about videos, you're exploring BGC, they're in my catalog. I've done them. A lot in Boracay. Um, did one the other day, but it's under members only. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely into it. Definitely will. Got to go now, sir. Good night. Later, Todd. Salute, John Canella. Salute everybody supporting the stream. Filipina thoughts. Until now and then. Maybe I'll do another one tonight, guys. Sana all.